Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing this greens and brown smoky eye, kind of an earthy look. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's jump right in. I've already washed and moisturised my face, so I'm going to be starting with the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to be doing sort of pea-sized amount and rub that in between my fingers. I really love this product because I just think even without like wearing any other makeup, I think you can just put this on and feel like your skin just looks 10 times better. So yeah, I love this. And I don't always wear it underneath like a tinted moisturiser or a foundation, I'll just wear it on its own. And I think it looks really good. So yeah, I've just put that on. And I just think it gives a nice like healthy sheen to the face. And then I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser and I've got this in a darker shade than like my natural skin colour because I have fake tan in my body so I need to match that up. And I just apply this on my fingers because I think it just blends in so much nicer when I do it with my hands. I might have put it too much on, whoops. It's alright, we can blend it in. So now that I've blended all that in, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced, oops, slippy hands. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just going to be bobbing that under my eyes and covering up all my spots because at the minute my skin is rubbish. I don't know why. I'll take a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't want to be touching my spots and then putting it back in. I don't know what's wrong with my skin. Ever since I turned 18, skin's been rubbish and I'm 21 now, turning 22 in December and it's just been the same, it's not going away, I, I've tried so many different creams, so many different skincare and at the minute I'm using the proactive, like three steps, so it's like there's an exfoliator, there's a wash and there's a moisturiser, I don't really like the moisturiser because I think it's too drying. So I've just been using a different moisturiser than the one they recommend. But it is just like, it's one for eczema. So it's not got anything in it that's going to be making my spots any worse. They're just always there. And I, and it's worked kind of, but what it does is like, it gets rid of the spots I already have. But then it just, like my skin will just replace them spots with another spot so the face wash does work but it's just replacing them if that makes sense so like I'll get it'll get rid of all the spots I already have on my face but then it'll just replace them with another one somewhere else so it's just a nightmare and I don't really know how to get rid of them so if anyone has any recommendations of any skincare that can help get rid of spots once and for all completely I'm all ears. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything you've tried that's really helped. My skin, I'd probably say, is it's dr it's dry but oily at the same time. But it's not like combination where it's like oh, it's a little bit dry and a little bit oily. It's like my face is that my face is really dry feeling, but then really greasy. I don't know how to explain it. So I don't know if that is classed a combination or what, but. It's just, I feel like I can never get the right combination of creams or washes that will actually work on my skin because I've always found that this one will make it too greasy or this one will make it too dry and yeah, I just don't know what to go for. And then some will burn my face. I've tried on before. I can't remember where, I can't remember where it was from. It was either like Clarins or Clinique and it was just really really drying on my face and it was like it burned it felt like there was too many chemicals in it so I just want something natural that's not going to burn my skin and it's just going to feel you know like really refresh and just get rid of my spots because it's just a nightmare like having to try and cover them up all the time with makeup like I mean most of the time I won't even bother I won't even bother putting makeup on because it just, I feel like it, it doesn't cover them. 
like on camera it looks okay but like in real life sometimes I just feel like your skin with spots can look better when you don't put any makeup on at all because sometimes with makeup it just can show them off even more so yeah if there's any recommendations please let me know because I really really want to sort this problem out so now I'm just going to be taking this dry beauty blender I do use a dry beauty blender under my eyes and I don't know if anyone else does this, but I just feel like it blends my under eyes so much better than if it was wet. So I use my dry beast blender for under my eyes. Because I have horrendous under eye bags. And it's not even that they're dark, it's that I have deep set uh, lines under my eyes. And I just can't get rid of it. So I think in the future I'll probably fix that with getting them filled in or something. I'm just taking a bit of that excess concealer and dotting it on top of my eye. Now I'm just going to be taking my Laura Mercier powder and using a smaller brush than these on the rest of my face. And I'm just going to be dotting that under my eyes so it conceals that in place and stays on all day. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to bronze up my face with some Beached Bronzer by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to use a little fluffy brush. And just bronze up all of the areas that would naturally get some tan. I like to take this under my eyes because I feel like if I leave them too white it just really doesn't look good. I feel like I just look like I've got white panda eyes. So I like to take my bronzer just under my eyes to blend it all together. I'm going to take a bit under my chin. Now I'm just going to go in with my Hoola bronzer from Benefit and I'm just going to add a little bit of that to warm up the face even more. I'm just going to go back over some of my spots that have reappeared since I've put on that bronzer. Now I'm just going to be using some setting spray just to make all the powders look a little bit more natural. So now I'm just going to be going in with my Nip and Fab blush. And this comes with a bronzer, a blush and a highlight but I have used all of the bronzer and I'm just going to be using that on my cheeks I used to not wear blush when I was younger I don't know why I think I used to think that it didn't suit me and that the trend was like completely matte face with just bronze skin and no colour but I absolutely love blush now I just think it brings your face to life and doesn't look so flat so with blush I always put it on my nose and if I've applied too much on my nose I'll buff it off I just sprayed my face with the body shop um, face mist because I was just thinking my face looked a little bit too powdery so I feel like that's just made my skin look more like skin and not just big pile of makeup. So now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, just brushing them through. So now I'm just going to be taking my brow pencil in the shade 3.5 by Benefit and I'm just going to be defining my eyebrows. So 
So after I've filled in my eyebrows, I'm going to be now taking the Benefit Gimme Brow and I'm just going to be going over my eyebrows to set them in place and to also try and define the hairs a little bit more. I just finished my eyebrows off camera because they're just not happening today. I know they say that eyebrows are sisters, not twins, but I feel like mine are like distant cousins or something. But, oh well. It is what it is and you can't always have a good brow day, can you? So, today's just not my day for eyebrows. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more concealer on top of my eyelids, just so that the colour that I'm about to put on sticks nicely and shows it off a little bit more. So I'm just going to tap that on. So I'm just going to be going in with this NYX palette and I'm going to be taking the green shade right here. So I'm just going to be taking that on my finger and I'm just going to apply that straight to my eye and I'm just going to be dabbing that on. And I'm just going to be taking a bit more of that colour on a brush and bringing it up into the crease. Now if you have hooded eyes like me, what I like to do is I just like to not stretch my eyelids like this. I'll just look straight at my mirror with a relaxed face and just apply it just above my eye crease. So you can see how it looks when your face is relaxed because when you do this and then your eye obviously has a fold you can't see the colour so I just like to do it this way so I can see where it's going to be on my eye and where it's going to look the best. Now I'm just going to be taking the shade Swarm from the Urban Decay palette and tapping that off and I'm just going to be placing that in the crease. Now I'm just going to take the shade Sweet from the same palette, tap it off and apply that in the corners. And I'm just going to blend it all together. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of that green on my finger and go over the eyelids. Now I'm just going to be taking this chubby pencil by the brand Technique and I think I got this in a advent calendar actually. My mum got me an advent calendar last year and the year before, I'm not sure which one it was from. But she got me a beauty advent calendar and I got loads of like little bits in it so I got this out of the advent calendar I'm pretty sure. So it's like a nice ready brown shade, I just put it on my hand there. So I'm going to be taking this and lining my eyes with it. Now I'm just going to go over that with the shade Dipped from the same Naked palette and I'm just going to take an angled brush. So I'm just going in with that green again and I'm just going to take that a bit higher up because I feel like I lost a bit of that green shade when I've applied the eyeliner. So now I'm going to be taking this shimmery light greeny shade, might not look green on camera but it is slightly greeny from this sleek palette and I'm just going to take that on my finger and apply that to the corners of my eyes. Now I'm just going to be taking the shade Swarm again on a angled brush and I'm going to be applying that underneath my lash line. And I'm going to buff that out with 
under the brush. I'm just smudging it up to connect with that outer flick. Now I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes. I always get so nervous curling my eyelashes because I just feel like they're going to snap off. Does anyone else feel like that? Because when I was in high school, I did have a moment where my eyelashes did snap off in the middle of each eye. And I don't know if it was the curling thing that I used or if it was the type of mascara that I was using because when I stopped using that mascara, they didn't snap. So maybe it was the mascara. But it does freak me out. I'm just going to be taking the Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara. Oh no. Got black. Blobbed. Doesn't matter. Leave it to dry. If you ever get that where you put your mascara on, and it blobs higher up, leave it until the end and then it'll just brush off because when you try and get rid of it with when it's wet it just smudges all over the place. I never just use one mascara, I always like to layer my mascaras so next I'm going in with the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit and I'm just going to leave that eye to dry do the other eye. Now I've done the top eyelashes, I'm going to be taking the Roller Lash by Benefit and I'm going to be doing the bottom eyelashes. So now what I do is, if I've got any mascara anywhere, like for example here, or anywhere underneath, I'll take the end of an eyebrow pencil, um, the bit that you brush through, and I'll just take that. Ooh, sun's gone blinding. I'll just take the end of that and I'll just scratch it off because it's dry now it'll come off. See? Gone. So now I'm going to be taking this Rimmel lip liner in the shade 047 Cappuccino and I'm not going to line my lips like I normally would and define my lip bow. I'm just going to take it over the top so I'm just gonna so after I've lined my lips with that I'm going to be taking MAC shade Velvet Teddy and I'm going to apply that over the top and then what I like to do is lighten it up a little bit with some concealer so I just take a little bit on the back of my hand like that then once I've done all that I like to blot my lips like that so now I've done all that I'm going to be taking the shade Frog Prince by the brand Lipstick Queen. I also got this in an advent calendar beauty box and even though it looks green it's not green. It leaves like a really nice pinky shade. So last but not least I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild highlighting powder and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. A bit on the forehead. A bit on the nose. A bit on the bridge. And that's everything. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.